Thank you very much. This is the first time I speak uh, this about this subject in English. <laughs> <laughs> I play music in front of many foreigners, but this is the first time I speak <laughs> about this. But um, I was a little, about, uh, a little bit worried about my English, so I wrote a sentence in Japanese and they translated uh, that into English and uh, that's available on that uh, desk at the lobby. And also if you uh, Google search, then this uh, family breakdown in developed society by Kazumatsui is available on the internet. Just written for this particular meeting. Uh, infant under three years old particularly, are losing their opportunity to raise parents. That's what I have been talking for 25 years in Japan. Uh, infant, especially zero year old, one year old, two years, they are every year so different. It's not like 61 year old, 62 year old, 63 year old. They are so different so they have their role and task each year. Like zero year old, for example, after they are born, after two, three months, they smile at uh, smile first time in their life. L looking at their smile first time in their life, we feel joy because we feel we are good. So, and also this smile, if we look at together, like four or five of us look at together, then we feel we are one. Just smiling a little bit, first time in their life, makes us good person and make our mind together. Nobody can do that kind of thing. And also zero year old, they cannot speak, but we speak to them and of course, without words, we do com conversation. And the conversation without words is a very important thing. Every day, every hour, we think what they are thinking, what they want, and uh, what their future. Nobody will tell us what they want, what their future is. However, imagining that every day, every hour, makes us human beings. Understanding people do not make peace, but trying to understand people makes peace. And that's what zero year old teaches us. They never tell us what they want, but they tell us try to understand, try to understand what they want. We do this kind of communication, not just with the infant, but for example, doll, D-O-L-L, -L -L, doll. Every house has dolls, but we never think about why they living with us. But uh, thinking about the first human beings who created doll, I don't know, 20,000 years ago, I don't know, but they have to think something and this doll has some shape. Thinking about those things, we understand why universe give us zero year old. Doll trying to make us, zero year old trying to make us same thing. They are trying to make us good person. Our hu uh, us human beings will create something makes us good person, which is zero year old and also dull. And to become good person, we feel happy. Let's go to the two, two, year, two years old. Two years old is very uh, difficult ones. And if uh, somebody told me to spend one by one, I mean one to one, uh, for eight hours, then it will scare me. <laughs> but if somebody told us, six-year-old girl joining us 
then that will be a perfect day, very enjoyable. Maybe this two years old is sleeping for two hours. <laughs> but uh, two years old raising six year old, two years old uh, getting goodness out of six years old, this is a beautiful scene. And uh, so the message from two years old is you have to, I mean, two years, six years old, 60 years old, a good combination. We have to have this kind of combination to experience <laughs> ourselves. But if somebody told us, instead of six years old girl, what about six years old boy? No way. <laughs> Five years old, six years old, boys and girls are so different. If you scold a five-year-old boy, he forget within a minute. <laughs> Boys are a little stupid. <laughs> if a woman don't think that as a cute character of boys, men never live. <laughs> right? Boys, men are a little stupid. Yeah. <laughs> And one good example about two years old, if I was sitting in the bench in the park by myself, then I'm a strange guy. But if I'm sitting on the bench with two year old, then I'm a good guy. <laughs> <laughs> Just uh, sitting by me, the boy, a two year old boy makes me a good guy. And he <laughs> It's not his intention to make me a good guy. It, he's just, just sitting there. And by just sitting there, he can do that kind of thing. That's almost the act of universe. So we have to feel this kind of act of universe by raising children. Uh, I do about 180 lectures a year in Japan about this subject. And many times it's at, in the nursery school, kindergartens. <coughs> at one lecture, there's uh, like uh, 50 fathers and uh, 70 mothers. And, and after my lecture, uh, principal of the nursery uh, preparing the, uh, some rabbit mask for fathers, all the fathers. And uh, she said, now, father, you have to become rabbit and nobody can refuse. I, again, saw the act of universe. At the nursery school, if principal told the fathers to become rabbits, they have to become rabbits. <laughs> President of the company or high school principal cannot do this kind of thing. So nursery school principal has principal has rights to make men rabbit. <laughs> I thought about this for two weeks. Why they have rights to make this father's rabbit? Because nobody can refuse it, right? So I just thought in front of the infant, small children, we, we have to go right way. Even it become rabbit. <laughs> And the mothers look so happy that uh, their spouse becoming rabbits. <laughs> so I thought that was also <laughs> the right, I mean, I mean, the way of the universe. <laughs> <laughs> this is very interesting uh, things I see. Oh, I decided four year old is the most completed human beings. I decided. <laughs> uh, they are trusting and they are believing and happy. Most religion uh, tell us that's the uh, best human beings, believing and trusting and happy. So if we worship four-year-old, we are okay. But recently, 
these four-year-olds are losing their chance to raise parents and human beings. Because of the development of a school system, kindergarten and nursery school, I, I'm not saying they are bad, but they are certainly <laughs> taking uh, infants' role and their task to raise their parents. <coughs> Democracy schools, kindergarten and nursery school were made based on parents are feeling. So if infant cannot raise parents' rights, all these things will not function. And also about marriage. Marriage is uh, losing freedom, voluntarily. <laughs> but why so many people do this? Because it's a good thing. And having children is uh, losing freedom even more. By losing freedom, we <laughs> find bonds. So we have to be really <laughs> careful about this word freedom. And also in my article, somebody translated very nicely, the happiness of not having a choice. Uh, parents cannot choose children. Children cannot choose parents. That's why they have to raise each other in both way. It's a 50-50 deal, it's a both way. Raising each other, we make this uh, puzzle of society. And uh, spending the most, I mean, most of the human beings spend time with this infant will make us good at uh, solving these puzzles. Zero year old, one year old, two year old. Three years in that speed, every, I mean, every country, every religion, we deal with these infant and they <laughs> help us to make good human beings who can solve this puzzle. I think that's about it. Yeah, um, please uh, <laughs> check out my uh, thesis, th thesis in English. It's available on that disk and also the internet. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs>